got some decent weather on the way for today. Another very warm day. In fact, today is even going to be warmer than yesterday. It will be a bit more breezy this afternoon. Winds will be out of the south and west. Could see some gusts close to 20 miles per hour. We will stay dry through the daylight hours today. That changes on Wednesday, though, as we will be tracking a couple rounds of storms and still not expecting great rain chances area wide, but a chance for a stray storm or two first thing on Wednesday morning and then more storms expected Wednesday evening. That's all out ahead of a cold front. That cold front sweeps through late Wednesday night, first thing on Thursday morning and brings a significant cool down for the second half of the week. Now heading out the door this morning, about 15 to 20 degrees warmer than we were at this time yesterday morning. That means most of us right now are into the upper 50s and lower 60s. Very mild morning. 59 in Mount Vernon, 59 in Harrisburg, 57 in Carbondale, low to mid 60s from Paducah back over near Sykeston, Union City, Tennessee at 61, Poplar Bluff at 62. We've got 60 in McLeansboro, again uh, 60 in Ridgeway in Gallatin County there, 60 in Pope County in Golconda, 62 currently in Caro in the southern tip there of Alexander County, a little further to the south into western Kentucky from Marshall County, Benton there at 63 to Clinton, currently at 63 as well, Tiptonville, Tennessee and Lake County at 62 to degrees uh, 64 currently in Donovan 62 in Frederick County and 64 as well in New Madrid live view from Mount Vernon. Uh, you can see the flag already blowing in the wind with winds out of the south to start off the day 59 to our east in Evansville 66 currently in St. Louis uh, to our south and west Tulsa, Oklahoma at 65 degrees. We are pretty quiet to start off the day likely going to be dealing with some high clouds once again throughout much of the day, but our big cold front that we're talking about this morning is just now starting to make its way over the Canadian border into the Pacific Northwest. So it is a long ways off, but it will arrive here very late tomorrow night. Again, most of us are going to stay dry through the daylight hours today. I wanted to stop here at 7 p.m. There is a small chance we could see a couple storms develop late this afternoon and into the evening hours, mainly into northeast Arkansas, the Boot Hill, Missouri, northwest Tennessee. Elsewhere to the north, we are likely going to remain dry. And then looking ahead to Wednesday morning, this is about 3 a.m. Notice some storms to our east. There is a chance we actually could see a couple of these storms make their way through parts of southern Illinois. Again, the risk for actually seeing rain, the threat for seeing rain is very low through Wednesday morning. That changes as we move into Wednesday evening. Wednesday afternoon still dry, but here comes the cold front. This is about 10 p.m. here Wednesday evening. Storms starting to develop out ahead of this front and then dropping to the south and east. With all of the warm air, all of the humidity and the significant cool down on the other side of the front, any storms that develop Wednesday night could be on the strong side. Still not expecting widespread severe weather, but large hail, some damaging winds, possibly a brief tornado or two is possible Wednesday evening. Cold front sweeps through and by Thursday morning, the rain is out of here, but some much colder air beginning to move back into our region. So Wednesday night, Storm Prediction Center has expanded this. This is a level two and encompasses our entire area here. So again, large hail, some damaging winds and a brief tornado or two is the main threats there on Wednesday evening. Out ahead of that front temperatures today, lower 80s across the area. Notice 81 across much of southern Illinois, a little further to the south, 82, 83 degrees. We'll stay mild through the overnight hours and looking ahead to Wednesday afternoon still in the low 80s. But here comes the cold front sweeping through and by Thursday morning temperatures are dipping back low to mid 40s in southern Illinois, still upper 40s further to the south. We're going to continue to fall with 30s in the forecast by Friday morning. So today 81 degrees on average for a high temperature, lots of high thin clouds this evening. We're only in the low 70s by nine and we're still in the upper 60s tonight at midnight and we'll stay mild through Wednesday, but there's the cool down. Very windy on Thursday as the cold air sinks in 56 for a high temperature in the afternoon. Friday, we keep dropping that temperature. It looks like we're going to have quite a bit of wind around that should limit the frost potential there Friday morning, but that changes Saturday morning. Upper 30s winds will be much lighter, so we need to keep an eye on Saturday morning. Looking ahead to the rest of the weekend, Sunday brings our next rain chance and more cold air spills in for the early part of next week. I know, Evie, I, you look at the forecast and you're like, oh, let's just focus on these two days and kind of forget about the rest. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs>